Peace be to you all. Assalamu alaikum. Omar here. Happy Friday. Juma Mubarak. Uh, so for those of you guys who don't know me, I am a doctor of health education, family man, middle age, moderately fit endurance athlete, and family man. Now, um, I want to talk to you guys about goal setting. So by the Gregorian cal calendar, we're about to go into 2024. And I say Gregorian calendar because according to my religious belief and my, uh, my um, work, my career, I have the opportunity of coming in contact with a lot of eclectic people. So the different cultural backgrounds, different ethnicities, nationalities. And I didn't realize how many different New Year's there are. There's the Ethiopian New Year, the Persian New Year, the Chinese New Year. <laughs> yeah. And the list goes on. There's the Hydra calendar for Muslims. And I don't know what other calendars, uh, other religions have, but um, I just rattle off the four or five. So everybody, depending on the uh, ethnicity, nationality, religion, or whatever um, from which you hail, you may have your own New Year's. But since we go by the Gregorian calendar in most parts of the world, as far as, uh, I guess, the dominating superpower <laughs> here in the U.S., 2024 is nigh. It is December 1st as the uh, shooting of this vlog. So, I try to encourage myself, as well as you, you all, to uh, engage about the task of New Year's goal setting for 2024. What, are, what, how do you want to improve your life? Mental, mentally, physically, or spiritually, if you believe in that kind of thing. How do you want to improve it? My advice would be to write it out. Because writing things out holds you accountable. And I'm also, I also keep journals on my uh, fitness, you know, my finances, and other things. I think it's important. Because, you know, you can look back and see, okay, you know, what goals did I actually accomplish? A year goes by fast. I didn't realize I've been on YouTube for eight years now. I did my first awkward video on uh, smoking cessation <laughs> eight years ago. <laughs> and now I just keep going. So that time went by so fast, man. I was in my mid-40s and now I'm in my mid-50s. But I say that to say, yeah, especially if you're young, time goes by much faster than you realize. So you have to you have to try to be true to your goals as, as best as you can. And stuff happens. I've had uh, life-altering changes in my life, but I gotta still, I still have to hold on to my core values. Uh, if you get a chance, read um, Stephen Covey's book on uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It came out in the 80s. But it's a, man, it stands the test of time. And then uh, M.C. Scott, uh, Dr. Emma Scott Peck, The Road Less Traveled, where he talks about delaying gratification to get to your goals. Very good, very good uh, books. And they, the concepts transcend religion and political ideology. Uh, I won't even go there. But yeah, just try, guys. You know, it's December 1st, and uh, we got, I guess, 30, 31 more days. Um, to uh, 2024, what are your goals? Um, you can always, you can share them with some people. It depends on the goal, yeah, because you'll have haters <laughs> or people who try to dissuade you from your goals, even amongst your so-called friends and families. Why do you want to do that? That's dumb. That'll never work. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. <laughs> so sometimes it may behoove you to keep your goals to yourself. Uh, it depends. All right, guys, that's it for now. I wish you guys the very best of success in your endeavors. If you have a desire to be a physician assistant or a physician associate, as it's sometimes called, uh, you, feel, you can feel free to uh, contact me. It's a wonderful profession. I've been doing it. I've been in the healthcare profession for more than 30 years. Started out as a CNA the last 
20, almost 25 years I've been as a physician assistant. That's it for now, guys. Take care. Peace.